Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road and the MSRP on this one is 39,000. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the features this one has. To the engine of the Tacoma, this one is the 3.5 V6 and the horsepower numbers are 278 and the torque numbers are 265. And this engine is paired to a six speed automatic transmission. Anyways, uh, the fuel economy numbers are 18 in the city, 22 highway and 20 combined. So if you guys are curious about this color, this color is called Magnet Gray and honestly looks really good with this nice off-road appearance this Tacoma has. Anyways, coming to the headlights, the headlights look really nice and uh, they have a really nice look to them. Coming down here, you'll have the fog lights and coming to the grill, the grill is very big for a small truck like this one. And uh, coming to the Toyota logo, it's actually very big and it has the uh, sensors inside of it. Basically, we'll have the pre-collision and the braking assist and the emergency braking, all these safety features inside of this Toyota logo. So the front looks very nice and aggressive. So I'm gonna go ahead and move to the side of the truck and then show you the rest of the truck. Coming to the side of the Tacoma, it looks really nice. And I really like the Tacoma and it's the best looking uh, truck in its class. Anyways, coming to the side, you will have uh, some side steps right here and they're actually kind of useless. I did uh, try jumping inside the truck and uh, they're not really helpful. Anyways, coming to the rims, the rims are 265, 70, 16, and I really like the rim design. There's this nice black uh, look in the middle of the rim. It just gives the truck a really nice look. So coming to the back of the bed, you will have a TRD 4x4 off-road sticker. Coming to the tail lights, I wish the tail lights were tinted or maybe blacked out or something uh, to make them more aggressive. Anyways, you will have a chrome bumper and then you will have Tacoma embedded inside the tailgate, which is very nice. And right here, coming to the tailgate handle, you will have Toyota stamped on it. And then of course you will have your backup camera right here. Coming to the right, you will have the V6, since this one is the V6 engine. Overall, it looks really nice. You will have, uh, I think, a couple pink connectors right here and uh, you will have a tow uh, hook in the bottom. So the tailgate has a really nice soft release to it, which is very good. Coming right here, you will have a couple hooks and tie downs. You'll have more right there. And then uh, the bed has a good amount of space to it. Of course, not a full size pickup, but there's a good amount of space in the back. Right here, you will have an outlet which is very good. And then I believe this is a storage place uh, that you could put things inside. So to unlock the Tacoma, all you have to do is just go ahead and put your hand behind it. There is a sensor in the back and to lock it, go ahead and just tap on the two lines and that will take care of locking all the doors. The front door looks okay. It does not have any trims on it. Uh, anyways, this is not leather. This is some type of uh, weird material. It's more like cloth material. Right here, this is plastic. The door handle feels a little bit on the lighter side. The door switches and window controls look all right. And uh, the, fr uh, the front two are automatic up and down. And then of course you will have the lock and unlock and the mirror controls. Uh, right on the armrest, it's not that soft. I wish it was a tiny bit softer. Coming down here, you will have a uh, plastic, of course, which is expected. You will have uh, probably two bottle holders and a small uh, storage place right there. And then you will have a, a speaker in the bottom. So inside the Tacoma, it looks pretty good in here and it feels actually pretty spacious. And uh, the ride uh, height is very nice. You could see over the hood and uh, just feels good sitting in the driver's seat. Anyways, uh, coming to the left, you will have the traction control and then you will have the automatic uh, headlights. You will have the uh, AC uh, 120 volt in the bed and then you will have uh, lights right here. Anyways, uh, coming to the steering wheel, the steering wheel feels really good. The 10 and 2 grip are pretty thick, which is very good. And the ring overall is actually pretty thick. Anyways, coming to the steering wheel, you will have the volume controls and then you will have the Bluetooth controls. Coming to the right, you will have the um, Toyota Safety Sense and then you will have a couple more controls. And uh, coming to the gauges, the gauges look pretty good for a uh, truck. Coming to the left, you will have the headlight controls. 
and coming to the right you will have the wiper controls and this is the start button all you have to do is just go ahead and click on the brake and it actually sounds pretty good for a v6 truck it sounds much better than the ridge line that i reviewed anyways coming to the screen the screen looks really good and it's an 8 inch touch screen it has hard lines on the left and right and it has apple carplay and android I'll auto i'll show you the backup camera the backup camera is not the best uh, resolution but it does the job and it's not that bad coming down here you will have the engine start stop four wheel drive uh, modes and then the climate controls they're very easy to use in the bottom you will have the defroster and then all the way in the bottom you will have uh, this is the uh, back window and then you will have a usb right here and then a 12 volt socket in the bottom and then you will have an ECT control, uh, ACT power. And all the way in the bottom, you will have a wireless charging pad, and then you will have two cup holders. And I like the fact that the cup holders uh, have this nice plastic uh, adjustable thing, so it holds a bigger cup or a smaller cup. Coming to the shifter, this one will control the six speed automatic transmission in the Tacoma, and it has uh, plus and minus. You could, of course, adjust the gears if you want to. And you have a handbrake right here, not an electronic e-brake and right here you'll have another cup holder and a small storage place uh, coming to the armrest the armrest is very hard and it's not made out of leather it's made out of a weird material anyways coming inside of it there is a good amount of space but not that big and then all the way in the back you will have two cup holders coming to the back door the back door is the same as the front it has the same materials as the front one anyways coming right here you'll have of course plastic just like the front one door handle feels the same you will have that material on the back door just like the front one window switch right here and then the bottom you'll have a speaker this is plastic which is expected and then you will have uh, more storage place in the uh, bottom of the back door and then you will have two cup holders or two bottle holders coming to the back of the Tacoma there is a good amount of leg room over the videos and online uh, it does look on the smaller side but honestly in person looks much better anyways uh the seats are very nice and comfortable and of course i know that you guys can't see them but they're very nice and comfortable just like the front ones you could actually open the seats and right underneath the seat there is a storage place where you could store a jack and a couple more things and i like the fact that you could put things in the bottom so guys that's it for this video if you guys liked it i would like to thank jay for providing me this tacoma and i would like to thank toyota of wallingford uh, for uh letting me come and film if you guys are interested i'm gonna go ahead and put their link in the description and if you guys would like to see more videos like this please subscribe and as always i'll see you next time